Jesus Christ. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Paradox here, bringing you another Black Ops 4 video to the channel. Now today guys, I'm going to be showing you the best class setups after update 1.11, the newest update that dropped today. So we're going to go ahead and get straight up into this. I don't want to make it super long. So our first class is going to be the ICR. Now the ICR is a really good assault rifle. Now if you are starting the game, uh, use this gun. I mean the ICR, as you can tell, the stats, the damage, the range, the fire rate, and the accuracy is pretty much all pretty much the same kind of. Um, but the ICR is really, really good with accuracy. Now with me, with gunfights, it's kind of a mixture of the damage the fire rate and the accuracy in my opinion now the ICR doesn't have a ton of damage but if you look at the fire rate and the, um, the accuracy that's what makes this gun now with this gun you can hit it from you can hit people from long distance you can hit people up close and everything like what this gun is gonna do is just its fire rate is really good so that's gonna help you at far range kills medium and short combat so it's a pretty good gun what I run on it is Red Dot, Grip, FMJ, and Quick Draw. I use Comsec Device with Scavenger, Lightweight, and Ghost. Now, you can run either Ghost or Dead Silence. Now, I have a mixture of Ghost and Dead Silence. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just a, kind of depends on what you do. Like, honestly, if you're playing hardcore, you're going to want to play... You know you're gonna want to play ghost you're gonna want to run ghost but if you're running core which I do sometimes uh, you probably want to run dead silence it's move quietly and um, you don't get caught by acoustic sensor which is pretty nice so if you want to run that you can it's a kind of a mix-up if I, I run ghost just because I play hardcore and I run Comsec device, scavenger, lightweight, dead, uh, ghost or dead silence. Like I said, if you want to throw one too, you can. Just you could take off. I don't know, quick draw or it's up to you, honestly. Next is my MX9 class setup. Now this is probably one of my favorite SMGs. It's probably the top three favorite SMGs. Um, yeah, like this. This is my. Uh, you know, if I'm playing a six v six, you guys that watch my live streams. I do play if we find like a 6v6 we'll play it out and I go full sweat mode and um, you know I like to use this class ELO, hyper mag, long barrel, FMJ. Now as you can tell a lot both of my classes so far I have FMJ and I've been running FMJ a lot more because FMJ is actually good in this game. Now in other games I think the last time FMJ was actually good in a Call of Duty was like MW2 but in this game body armor is a thing. Now body armor is, is pretty much two shot like you can two shot it and it's gone using fmj plus i like to shoot through material sometimes if people are head glitching and do all that if they're being annoying they're being that guy just trying to anti you and stuff like that just throw on fmj so you can shoot through the um you know whatever they're head glitching just take them off the head glitch i run comsec device scavenger skulker and ghost now there this is a new perk i'm actually using a lot more skulker is actually a really really good perk now in this game it's more pre-aiming and pre-firing it's not more of pre-firing it's more of pre-aiming now you really need to pre-aim a lot in this game just in boots on grounds mainly just boots on ground if quick draw doesn't work now quick draw doesn't is not the best in this game it doesn't do what it's supposed to do and if you pre-aim using skulker you can crouch and literally you move faster crouching so it's just a really good perk you guys you'd like it you'll like it if you start using it next is my swordfish class now the swordfish is a really good tactical rifle t rifle or whatever you want to call it now i like to use this i in 6v6s as well and i use this in spawn trapping i spawn trap with this class a lot now what I like to run on it is Red Dot, Hyper Mags, Long Barrel, and FMJ, same as my MX-9. I'm running the FMJ just for that, um, if people are being that person, just head glitching, trying to anti me, I can just shoot them through the material and not have to worry about the head glitching. I run Comsec Device with Scavenger, Lightweight, and Ghost. Next is my Cordite. Now you guys know about this class, this is like, this is like my spawn trapping class. This is like the class that is my go-to spawn trapping 
if you guys didn't know if you was watching the stream it was like it was a couple days ago I actually almost dropped a quad nuclear I got four relentless medals and two nuclears I was pretty heated after that game when I saw I had four relentless medals I was like oh my god that could have been the world's first that would that would have been insane that would have been a great gameplay to put up uh, but I'm running on it is laser sight grip FMJ in the belt feed and I'm running Comsec device and skulker now why I'm running laser sight literally on this gun if you're crouched and you use laser sight it literally is just uh, it just stri it just hits it you just hit fire that's all you gotta do you hit fire and it's gonna hit the target it's it's so overpowered really really overpowered it's a really nice class it's probably one of my uh this cordite and the mx9 are my top favorite like those are my top favorite like it's a tie between these two guns next is my vapor class now the vapor is a really good s um i bought some smg i'm done uh it's a great assault rifle i like it it uh its fire rate is nice it has a good fire rate has a good damage and accuracy is uh okay you just gotta this gun is really good to use and i like to yarn on it is elo suppressor stock and fast mag and if you don't want to run suppressor you can throw on the double stock, which uh, it'll let you, it'll let you drop shot. It's totally up to you. I've been using the suppressor. It's just, but if you run suppressor, it does drop your uh, range by two. So if you want to throw that, this would probably be a better class for you if you're running like hardcore or uh, core. But I'm running on this as Comsec device, scavenger, lightweight, ghost. Now a lot of people like. I don't know, a lot of people say this in the comment section when I do these types of class setups. Why, Paradox, why do you run lightweight over gung-ho and dexterity? Now, I am a really aggressive player. I, I'm really aggressive, you guys know that. If someone's head glitching or something and they're pushing, like if they're not pushing, I'll push them. I'm just that aggressive. I don't like to stand still. I don't know why I can't stand still in the game. I throw on lightweight for uh, two reasons. You move faster. And you take no damage while falling off of things. Like say if you're like one shot and you jump off the top of a house, you're not gonna die. You don't have to worry about the the take no damage when falling, which is pretty nice. Say like on jungle, if you're on top of the top part of the um that cliff, you can literally just fall off of it and you won't have to worry about dying, so it's pretty nice. And I just I just like running faster. Like I would rather run faster than jumping over you know, I don't really jump over things. I don't really, you know, jump over walls or do none of that stuff. Climb ladders. So this is my type. This is more of a perk I need to use. And then I run Ghost, of course, as all my classes. Next is my Titan class setup. Now, the Titan is a really good LMG. I like to use it. It's Red Dot, Extended Mag, Quick Draw, FMJ, Comsec Device with Scavenger, Lightweight, Ghost. This is like a spawn trapping class. I don't really, I use this in two ways. Competitive. And I use it on spawn trapping slums, which is a uh, really good one. If I'm uh, spawn trapping on fountain side, I'll just throw the Titan up. It, it, it's GG. Next is my Maddox class. Now this is probably one of my core classes. I would use this in core. If you can use it in hardcore as well, it doesn't really matter. What I run on is Elo, Fast Mag, Stock, and Quick Draw. Now I've been using a cup, a couple things. I got hiccups. Jeez. I, I have a couple of classes. I run sometimes just the stock and double fast mag i've ran double quick draw i mean there's just so many things you can do with the maddox it's a really good gun the fire rate on this is it's just the fire rate and the accuracy on this gun i mean this gun is really good to use in hardcore just the fire rate and the accuracy is what makes this gun literally a god weapon in hardcore next i use a comsec device with scavenger lightweight and ghost and then next is my GKS. Now you guys like the GKS. You always like me to use this class in hardcore. Now this one's like a full rushing class. Like if I'm gonna rush, try to get like this would be a class I would use to go for like the world's fastest nuclear spawn trapping, going crazy. Literally like this would be like a gun I only use on nuke town if I'm playing comp as well. Like I do have a insane clip of me using the GKS, which I'll show you guys. Um, here in a minute. Actually, I'll just pull it up now. Here it is. So, this 
So, I mean, that, that, that clip was insane. I know it was in hardcore, kind of easy to do, but I mean, the GKS is really good. It's like a, a ICR and SMG form, faster fire rate and everything like that, so it's pretty nice. But what I'm running on it is grip, quick draw, long barrel, extended mag with compsec device, scavenger, gunko. Now, this is a different class. Now, I'm running gunko on this class. Now, that, like I said, this is like a, you know, me, like just full sending it, rushing, not caring about if I, you know, get shot at or whatever. You, um,. You can aim up faster when alpha sprint, and you can reload while you know running. So I mean that's pretty cool as well. So if you're trying to run away from people, if you're you know. Next is my rampart class. Now, as you guys know, I'm a hardcore player. I kind of quit playing core because I mean just there's a couple of reasons why core. It's just so broken. I I'm on Reddit all the time, just looking at like see if there's updates coming, any leaks of any type of sort. And I just see people complain about core, like they're shooting first and they die first. Like there's just been just no way you die first, like if you are shooting first. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But I'm running red dot, long barrel, fast mag grip with compact device, scavenger, lightweight, and ghost. Next is my SWAT class. Now this is one of the new DLC weapons. If you guys are new to the channel, new to the game, you guys probably know already. But it's the SWAT, it's really good. What I would run on it is red dot, stock, fast mag, FMJ, compact device with scavenger, lightweight, and ghost. Next is my 11th class is the ABR. Now the ABR, you guys know the ABR. This gun was literally a god weapon in the beta. I wish, I wish the ABR was like it was in the uh, how it is in the beta, how it was in the beta. Like it, I wish it was just like how it is in the beta than now. Like I mean, this gun is kind of doo doo. But it's not kind of it, it's just, it's there like it's a class that you can use it's not bad it's not extremely good but i mean it's it's a weapon that you can go around slapping people with what i'm running on it is elo quick draw extended mag accelerator mod with scavenger lightweight and the compact device and our last class is the hades now the hades is a really good lmg i'm not really i'm not using the crossbar i'm not i don't really feel the crossbar anymore a lot of people hype it up it's good I mean, it is okay to use. I mean, I have used it a couple times, but I mean, just the Hades with just Elo, it's just, it's amazing. Like, has no recoil or nothing. But what I'm running on it is Elo, Grip, Hypermax, Suppressor, and FMJ. Now, if you want to take off the Suppressor to give it, like, the Suppressor does help it, like, with the recoil, in my opinion. It could be a placebo, I'm not sure. But if you want to throw on the rapid fire, it's all, all up to you. I mean, the suppressor, FM, if you want to take off the FMJ and throw the suppressor on like that, that's good as well. It's all really up to you. But I would prefer if you run the FMJ and suppressor, which is all up to you, like I said, which is pretty nice. But that is all my classes for update 1.11. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support here recently. You guys are are absolutely killing it now the goal is like we're literally gaining so many subs day by day minute by minute like i mean we're just growing insanely fast as of right now it looks like we might hit a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of spring or the middle of summer and if that if that's the goal i that that'll be insane guys like i that that will be mind-blowing if we hit that. So if y'all are new to the channel, do make sure to drop a like, guys. Subscribe and turn on post notifications. This video can get 500 likes. That would be awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.